Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Johnson with Hot Hardware, and today we're going to take a look at the ThinkPad tablet. The ThinkPad tablet runs on Android 3.1 Honeycomb and features an NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core 1GHz processor. You can see here that the tablet has a 10.1 inch WXGA display with a resolution of 1280 by 800. Another key feature of this display is that it has Corning Gorilla Glass to make it extra durable. The ThinkPad tablet is available with up to 1 gig of DDR2 memory as well as up to 64 gig of SSD storage. The tablet was designed with business users in mind. It's ultra portable and thin. It weighs just 1.65 pounds and measures just 14.5 millimeters thick. Lenovo says that you should get up to 8 hours of battery life when running the tablet on Wi-Fi. Taking a look at the front of the tablet, you have a 2 megapixel webcam up top, as well as various hardware buttons. You have your screen lock, browser, back, and home buttons. Take a look at the edges here. There is a full-size USB port behind the door, kind of handy. And we'll pull back this cover as well, and you'll see a full-size SD card reader, as well as a SIM card slot. Then you have your micro USB, mini HDMI, and a headset jack, and your power button. You have a volume rocker over here and a removable pen over here that we'll take a look at a little bit more later. Taking a look at the back of the tablet, you can see here there's the 5 megapixel webcam. One of the things that Lenovo was sure to point out is that out of the box the tablet, the ThinkPad tablet is ready to go. It comes preloaded with some of the apps that business users are sure to appreciate such as Documents To Go. Um, normally you'd have to buy that from the Android market so that's kind of handy. It also comes with uh, Netflix preloaded so this is the first tablet to launch with Netflix. A few of the other apps here you can see there's a few loaded. Um, You've got AccuWeather, Amazon Kindle, Angry Birds, Solitaire, Google Talk, Netflix, and Xeno. If you take a look at the home screen, you can see that Lenovo customized the Android experience to give you a little bit more of a unique experience. You can uh, customize this launcher here by selecting various options within the launch zone. You can see you have watch, email, listen, read, and your browser. If you touch on the right side here, you'll get easy access to settings. And this down here is what's called the app wheel. It's kind of cool. You can scroll through your apps and access one quickly and easily, so that's pretty cool. If you notice on the home screen, there's two app stores. First is the typical Android market, and then second is this Lenovo app shop. And what Lenovo says about this is that it's designed to help vet applications for validity and usefulness, so you can kind of take the uncertainty out of the Android market, if you will. Um, help you avoid apps that could contain malware or viruses. It's also supposed to help IT managers um, because it allows for extra customization and security, etc. We talked a little bit about the pen earlier. We'll take a look at it here with MyScript Notes Mobile, which is preloaded on the tablet. Just start a new notebook. You have two input options. You can use the conversion pen over on the left, which will convert your handwriting into a digital form or you can use the drawing pin next to it and that keeps your information exactly as it's written so that would be probably especially helpful for like when you're drawing pictures and stuff like that you can see here it works pretty good as you can see here we started up a new word document with documents to go and Lenovo bundles Nuance's Flex T9 virtual keyboard with the tablet, so it kind of gives you a little bit more input options as well as you can use the pen to input text. And it works pretty good, transcribes your text for you. This has been a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. Be sure to check out our site for the full hands-on review, and as always, thanks for stopping by!